What is copyright? Everything you need to know. Have you ever wondered about the concept of copywriting? This comprehensive guide is here to provide you with all the essential information you need to know about copyright and its various aspects. Copyright serves as the legal shield for the creative output of authors. It's essential to comprehend the boundaries of copyright protection as it scopes and compasses a diverse area of endeavors. Various forms of creation in commerce, academia, the art and beyond fall under copyright regulation. But what exactly is copyright? How can you address instances of infringement? These are the local points we will delve into within this piece. However, before we dive deeper, remember that you can register an LSE with Zen Business by using my link in the description. Copyright encompasses any creation regardless of registration status that is brought into tangible existence. US copyright law offers an array of exclusive rights and safeguards to both the work and its creator, encompassing aspects such as reproduction, distribution, and alteration. To legally uphold these rights in the court of law, the author must formally register the work within the US copyright office, a process involving appropriate documentation tailored to the type of content being protected, offer a company by a fee. Distinguishing itself from patents and trademarks with shields, inventions, and branding, respectively, copyright focuses on the tangible expression of a work requiring these things an original materialization. Neither publication nor public access serves as prerequisites for protection. While expression exists, copyright usually extends for 70 years after the creator's demise. Subsequently, ownership or renewal by successors sustaining the copyright or the workers enters the public domain. The US Copyright Office acknowledges 66 categories for potential copyright registration literary creations, artistic performances, visual artworks, motion picture and audiovisual productions, photographic works, and other digital contacts like encompassing database application and software. While recognizable artistic pieces such as music patterns and books fall within these categories, copyright extends reach to less apparent subjects like clothing, websites, and architectural design. Further insight into the scope of copyrightable context can be found in the US Copyright Office's comprehensive guidelines on copyright eligible authorship. Movies, songs, dances, book designs, artworks, and various other forms of expression constitute original work of authorship that falls under copyright protection. These are products of your creative effort and thoughtfulness. It's important to note that copyright doesn't cover things like titles, isolated words, or mere names since they lack the original required copyright protection. For a work to be eligible for copyright protection, it must be fixed in a tangible form. This means that the work has been recorded or saved in some manner, allowing it to be reproduced and experienced over a longer period. Once fixation has been achieved, you gain the freedom to generate new creations derived from the original work. For instance, you can design and sell t-shirts featuring your artwork or produce and dist distribute copies of the work. When you produce an original work, you inherently hold the copyright for it. However, to fully avail yourself of the, safe of the legal safeguards offered by copyright protection, it's necessary to officially register your copyright. The registration process involves a simple application and a nominal fee. But created made after 1978, your original written work falls under the umbrella of current copyright rule. This protection endures throughout the author's lifetime and extends an additional 70 years following their demise. In case it involves multiple authors, the permit persists for an extra 70 years after the passing of of the final surviving author. Duration of copyright varies based on whether a work is considered a work for hire or linked to a pseudonym. 95 years from publication up to 120 years from creation. When applying for a copyright, it's essential to acquaint yourself with these varying terms. Securing copyright for your original creation safeguards is against unauthorized duplication. Numerous platforms such as Twitter and Google offer mechanisms for lodging copyright claims, shielding you from potential copyright infringement liability. While copyright implies you gain legal protection if someone profits from utilizing your original text, images, illustration, and other content. This safeguards your rights and might entitle you to recover any part financial losses resulting from the authorised use of copyrighted material. In such instances, seeking guidance from a copyright and intellectual property property attorney is recommended. Copyright infringement and cause when an individual utilises the rights exclusively held by the creator of a work without obtaining proper authorization. This encompasses various forms of distribution such as sales, broadcasting and poor performance, along with any adaptation or reproduction of the original work. While copyright infringement can transpire regardless of the infringer's financial motivations, instances where financial gain is absent after providing more compelling basis for a certain a case of copyright infringement. Example of copyright infringement. Eagerly acquiring music files, uploading copyright content to a publicly accessible website without authorization, downloading licensing software from an authorized source, making modification to and copying another individual's creative work without substantial alterations, recording a movie in a cinema without permission, distributing recordings of TV programs or radio broadcasts, publishing the images taken by someone else without their approval on the website, embedding a video containing a copyrighted music on a company's website, selling products with featuring copyrighted brands text with images. There are instances where copyright material or material that was originally copyrighted can be utilized without infringing on rights, subject to certain conditions. The following categories outline these permissible uses. The most suitable approach to utilizing protecting content while representing the rights of others is through direct licensing. This approach, a potential user can follow existing general licensing in terms of initial contact within the copyright owner to seek permission. The copyright holder can impose 
various conditions for granting permission, including financial considerations and can maintain ownership of the copyright irrespective of the type of license, whether generic or specific. Under the specific condition, this legal principle allows the utilization of copyright material based on the nature of the original work and intended secondary use. The exact scope of fair use is predominantly shared by legal precedent, similar to other aspects of copyright law. An authorized use of copyright content might be considered fair use if it serves charitable or educational purposes, it significantly transforms the original work to change the essence and purpose, it employs only a small portion of the original work, it doesn't diminish the value of the copyright. Fair use encompasses referencing copyright material within a broader work for purposes such as reporting, parody, criticism or commentary. Rather than rigid rules, courts rely on established standards to evaluate individual claims, train them as guidelines, not absolutes. The assessment of specific claims will be guided by these established standards rather than fixed regulations. A Creative Commons license is granted by a copyright holder to allow controlled public use of copyright work. The terms of the license align the permissible ways and proposed for utilizing the content. The concept of a public domain pertains to works that have been intentionally placed into the public public domain by the creator owner, have expired copyright protection or do not meet the criteria of protection under intellectual property law such as copyright. The utilization of these works is considered permissible without constraints since they are considered publicly owned. It is worth noting that compilation of public domain materials to literally anthology or a collection of images can still be protected by copyright. In a copyright infringement case, the plaintiff needs to establish several key elements to make a valid claim in court. Initially, they must demonstrate the ownership of the content in question, which is often supported by their work's copyright registration. Following this, as the copyright holder, they must provide evidence of the actions that infringed upon their rights. But lastly, it is crucial to demonstrate that the defendant's actions exceeded the limits of fair use. Importantly, a claim can be viable without the necessity of providing monetary losses on the part of the plaintiff. The backbone of American copyright law is formed by legal precedents and case laws, with enforcement's primary taking place through civil court claims. While state copyright laws are feasible, federal laws are generally holds greater weight. Copyright enforcement becomes more straightforward when the copyright owner registers their work promptly and maintains comprehensive documentation, such as through a license agreement. However, enforcing copyright necessitates evidence of their deliberate infringement or a clear financial incentive. Creators may seek to uphold moral rights such as the right of attribution or the right of integrity, which encompass the ability to assert authorship and prevent alternations to their work through copyright legislation. Challenges can arise in enforcing copyright when a work lacks substantial creative or expressive elements when a secondary use constitutes a small portion of the original or when similarities between works appear coincidental. Defendants often claim that their usage aligns with fair use principles during copyright disputes. In cases other than these, these burdens of proof for challenging copyright legally falls on the defendant. Notably, copyright disputes disputes can sometimes bypass the traditional federal court system. Internet services providers frequently hold the distribution of online copyrighted content without re resorting to a legal action. In the congressional direction, the US Copyright Office developed some a small claims process for infringement involving sums under $30,000. This initiative claim aims to address situations where defending copyright in federal courts might be financially burdensome for individuals and small businesses. Although the Copyright Claims Board was slated to begin reviewing compliance by spring 2022, it has not yet commenced its operation as a time of writing. Courts take various routes in addressing copyright matters. A common objective of copyright litigation is to secure an injunction against the defendant, prohibiting them from future copyright violations. Courts may often order the confiscation of infringing content to prevent further dissemination. Financial compensation often sought by plaintiffs. Successful plaintiffs could be awarded statutory damages up to $30,000, alongside restitution for losses such as diminished profits. Additionally, if deliberate infringement is proven, plaintiffs might receive reimbursement for legal expenses and potentially higher compensation. Some forms of intentional infringement might even lead to criminal charges and sentences up to five years in prison. The preservation of intentional poverty has encountered new challenges due to the rapid expansion of the internet. The Digital Millennium Copyright Act of 1998 in the United States addresses allegation of online copyright infringement. This legislation aligns US copyright policy with international conventions governing digital content ownership and other internet assets. The MCA outlines a process for removing online content that is suspected of infringing copyright, bypassing the need for a court order. Initially, a notice is sent to the offender's internet service provider or the entity operating a web hosting service, such as Comcast, Google, WordPress and others. Many ISPs is now offer their own copyright infringement takedown form. In case where an ISP lacks specific forms for reporting violations, Copyright Gov provides guidelines for drafting notifications. If uncertainty persists regarding the responsible ISP, a who are you search or look up platforms like iCan.org or who is can provide relevant information. Creators also have the option to to inform Google of infringement to prevent copyrighted content from appearing in Google search.